Hey guys, welcome back. Long time no see. Um, I haven't done much streaming, a little bit here and there, but yeah. Um, been a bit quiet. Been busy with freelance stuff, so anyway. Um, you might have noticed, no uh, hideout for me for the hideout sh uh, showcase competition thingy majiggy. Um, I had a couple of concepts going, but nothing quite stuck. Um, so I didn't get one ready for the uh, comp in time and therefore didn't get one in. So be it. Um, funnily enough, though, I did get inspired after the fact by one of the uh, one of the ones showcased in the highlight, and it was specifically one of all, all let's see hideout base, which I've enjoyed in the past and used before. Um, but I'll show you why. So the all let's see hideout base hideout base has a bit of depth to it, um, but very few decorations actually interact with that depth. Um, and the one that I saw someone use was this uh, Snowy Rock 11 decoration, um, which I can get out here. So none of the other ones do, but if we get up to number 11, you'll see it does. It goes down into the water with nice, ref nice refraction. Happy days. So when I saw that, I, I was like, I have to start playing around with that. Um, so I got in here and gave it a go. Also realize Val Pyramid goes down. Not that I have really showcased that over here too well, but, but you can kind of see it below these um, floating planks that I've got here. Um, it's, yeah, it's got a bit of depth below where we stand up here, um, which is great. So that was kind of the, the starting, I uh, wouldn't really call it a theme, but the starting premise for the side out. Um, I just wanted to interact with that depth. Um, so that's what I started with. And I started with the top of this hideout, and you might see eventually um, there's a bit of a gimmick <laughs> with this hideout, which is unusual for me. I don't usually play around with this sort of thing, but when I realized it, and after I'd made this top section, um, you'll see I, I made it into a giant skull, like a skull island. Um, and I just thought that was a bit of fun. The, the main reason that got me to that point was um, after doing all this top section around here, making this little island structure, um, the Snowy Rock 11 has this little little bit that there's only this one variation that we get to use, by the way, um, but it has this jutting out bit. And after trying to hide it all the way up through here, I was just like thinking, and I was like, you know what? They kind of look like teeth. And then I came back up here and I realized I already had this here and that there. And I was like, that, that's kind of like eyes. And I had the center thing here, which is almost like a nose. So I was like, why not? Let's lean into it and make a, make a big skull hideout. <laughs> um, so I thought that was a bit of fun. Um, now, getting to the nitty gritty. Um, so I am going to be sharing this hideout on Hideout Showcase, uh, that website or whatever, and through the forums. It'll be there for you to use. However, <laughs> as I was building it, I kind of forgot what was an MTX and what wasn't and all of this. Um, so there's a few in here. Obviously, Val Pyramid. That one I knew. That one I recognized. But I was like, it, it's one of the only decorations that really interacts with this depth, which is what I wanted to do anyway. So I was willing to use that, and that's fine. Um, but there are another few things in here <laughs> that are far more exclusive than that. Um, and specifically, it's within this map device area. So the map device itself is uh, the blendy one that blends up the pets. So if you don't have that, you will have to come up with another solution just straight away. Um, because it's the only like large map device that's below ground. So you can build things on top of it and, and not have it really interfere um, with what's on top. So that's, that's that. What I've used in this, uh, so even if you've got that lower map device, um, these Val Ruined statues, I believe they're called. Yes, Val Ruined statue. There's a few of them around here. Um, they're from the Exilcon hideout, which is a little bit more exclusive. So if you do want to use this hideout, you will have to replace some of the shrubs. And maybe if, if enough people do like it and want to use this, this weird skull hideout, um, Maybe I'll make up a variation that, that doesn't use those specific decorations. Uh, a lot of these aren't um, from Exocon Hideout, like the Gruthkull statue and these other 
um, incursion Dalruan type bits and pieces in here. They're fine. Um, so it's just just all these shrubs come along with these statues. So we need to find new greenery that works in place of, of those in there. And maybe some other statues that, that might work. But if you did go to Exarchon, happy days. Much easier for you. <laughs> um, the other thing is, obviously, this is on the all at sea hideout base, so it's not going to be an MTX free hideout from the get go. Um, but I, I think buying the, the hideout bases is one of the less uh, ridiculous things. Like, even just buying these Val Pyramids is a little bit much. But if they're on sale, they, they, they do come down pretty cheap, I think. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested. Um, the other MTX is this boat. Um, it's a pooled water thing. Um, yeah, pooled water four. <laughs> it's from uh, a mystery box from ages ago, um, but you can buy it if you really wanted it. It's not necessary, but I thought it was kind of cool how it looks like it's knocked out this bridge. Um, and that's another cool little feature here. So I I've got... I've got blocking volumes all the way around here, right? Um, so you can't, you can't frost blink out into the water. Um, you can't escape the island. Um, however, over here you'll see I can't walk over there because the bridge has been knocked out, right? <laughs> um, but I can frost blink. And that's because I've set up blocking volumes parallel here with a little gap. So the, the gap is skinnier than, than you can fit through for walking, uh, but you can frost blink across the gap, which I thought was quite fun. Because um, I knew people would, if they were running around the side out, they'll try and get across there, they'll try and get into the water, and I'm not letting them in the water. <laughs> but I will let them in the, the temple. Um, or the vowel pyramid, whatever. Anyway, um, so that's, that's that. Um... The other thing is, I was going to say, if you really don't, if you really want this hideout, but don't want to get these Val Pyramids, I was thinking you could probably knock this off, um, just delete all of these things and the, the wooden bridge, and just cap off that with another one of the, the snowy rocks. And just close off the skull. You don't have to have these offshoots, I guess, and have the waypoint somewhere in here. I don't know, probably bottom of the nose or something. Um, and again, if, if enough people want that, then I can make up that variation. Um, but if it's just a few, then I, then I'll, I'll hope you can do it yourself, <laughs> you know. But um, I know the the hideout functions can get quite tedious, annoying, and a lot of people can't be bothered. But that that is what it is. It's fine. Um, hopefully we'll get more tools for the hideout creation stuff in the future. Um, whoopsie, that's not meant to be like that. <sighs> hopefully it wasn't like that for the old video. <sighs> um, but yeah, I. I don't know. It's a cool little hideout. Hopefully some of you will enjoy it. Um, we've got some events coming up soon, so I might do some streaming and all that, but that's, that's enough for this vid. I don't really need to go into that. Um, hope you're having a good league, and I will catch you next time. Cheers.